What is up, YouTube? Today we are back at it again with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial, and we're gonna be going over stacked timelines, also known as using multiple timelines. But first, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sam Aldrich, AKA Sam the Cameraman. And each and every single week, we bring you guys new DaVinci Resolve tutorials, new gear reviews, or any kind of tip or trick that's gonna help speed up your workflow. And that is exactly what we are gonna be going over today. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell notification, like this video, make sure you're not missing out on any of the new stuff that's coming out. I appreciate all you guys, but let's get right into this DaVinci Resolve tutorial. All right, first thing you want to do is make sure you have your clips imported into your media pool. All right, and what you want to do once you have everything imported into your media pool, select all of your clips and just drag and drop them into your timeline. And this is already going to create your very first timeline and all your clips should be dumped right in there. We don't need these audio layers. So what we are going to actually do is right click we're gonna link them and then unlink them so we can just delete those audio layers just like that, perfect. All right, now that we have our footage in our timeline, we wanna make a whole nother timeline that we can do work in or have a whole nother project in. If you wanted to import all of your clips into one timeline, sift through them and then copy and paste them into another timeline once you've got everything you want, you can do that as well. And we're gonna show you right now how to do it. You come right over here to this little tab and you click on that and you come over to where it says timeline view options. On the left side here, you're gonna hover over this one and it's gonna say stacked timelines. Select that one. Let's click off of it. And as you can see, it added this little plus. So we're gonna just hit that plus and what this does is it brings select a timeline up. If you already had multiple timelines created, you could hit this little arrow and just select whatever timeline you want. We, however, do not. So if you want to create a new timeline, you can either drag and drop your footage back in there, or if you come up to file, you come up to new timeline, and we're gonna title this one just edits. All right, and it automatically brings it right into our stacked timelines, our view is right there. So now let's say I wanna bring in all of my footage, I wanna sift through it, pick which clips I want, instead of having to go through them in your media pool, you can bring all of your clips, Let's select them all. Let's go not select our timeline and let's just bring them in. And as you can see, we have all of our clips right here in the timeline. And now let's say we wanted to go through and we wanted to trim these up. We wanted to only use this section of this clip. You know, we're not sure if we really want to we'll bring that up because we know we want to use that one. We're not really sure if we want to use this clip right here, but maybe we'll just use this section right here we'll drag that over there and let's see maybe for this one we're going to only use that section right there so this is a nice way that you can trim up your footage you can sift through your footage and you can see everything in the like as it plays back in a full screen or a bigger screen and once we have all of our footage gone through and we have everything we want or if you're making edits to certain clips and you want to bring them from one timeline to another you can do that as well but once you have everything done that you want to in this timeline and you want to bring it back into timeline one, all you have to do is select whatever clips you want to bring back, right click, hit copy, select timeline one, and we can just put our playhead right at the end of this, right click and paste. And that is going to bring all of our clips right back into this other timeline. So this is a really useful tool when it comes to editing your videos. Like I said, you can bring all your footage into one timeline, sift through it all, pick out what clips you want, and then you can copy and paste those clips and bring them into like an edit version of a, like your edit timeline. And that's where you can do all your edits and you have all the clips that you already want already in there. And another useful way to use multiple timelines or stack timelines like this is if you needed multiple versions of the same project. So if you need a different, you know, aspect ratios or different color grades or, you know, one with closed captions, one without closed captions, you could, instead of having multiple projects 
project files with DaVinci Resolve, you could just open up multiple timelines, copy and paste that whole entire edit into those new timelines and make the adjustments as needed. So it is something that is super useful and can be utilized in so many different ways. Thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for following along. I hope you like this uh, little tip when it comes to editing. Let me know if you guys find it useful. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking this new video format with not a whole lot of talking and we're just getting right down to business. Either way works for me. I just want to make you guys happy. So let me know what works best and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.